Hi, Krista May, Shore Homes by Krista. Today we're gonna to be doing a national market update. We're gonna be discussing home prices, home inventory, buyer demand, and interest rates. So let's, right now we're gonna talk about prices and sales compared to 2015 as compared to 2016. So from Realtor.com, they are saying that we are up 5% in the first quarter, I'm sorry, the first half of 2016 as compared to 2015 in home sales as well as home prices. So we're up 5% in the first half of the year. That's really, really good news. That's on a national level. You're gonna see that locally here in the West, our numbers are even higher than that. So he said overall we had the best spring in over a decade. So that's really, really good news. I know the economy right now might, is not really doing so great, but because interest rates are low, the housing market is still really, really good, as well as the fact that we have a shortage of supply of inventory. So Realtor.com, this is another good, very good graph to kind of help you look at. You can see that demand for housing is up 13%. So buyer demand is up 13%. That's part of the reason why we're seeing an increase across the nation in home prices. And the supply of homes are down 5%. So remember, anytime we have an increase in buyer demand and a lack of supply, that means prices go up because there's bidding wars that we're seeing. Hoping that's making sense. This graph right here is from, also again, from the National Association of Realtors. This is showing that the percentage change in sales from last year to this year and look as you can see we are up in almost every single price range. The reason why you're seeing it a low here is because there really aren't many homes throughout the nation that are in those price ranges. The price ranges that we're seeing here, anything under 100,000 is typically in a depressed market. But if you look at the other areas, even in our price range, so it, here in our local area, we are ranging between the 400 to 750 mark on average in Brentwood, Antioch, and Oakley, and Discovery Bay. Of course, if you're on the water, the prices are much, much higher than that. But we're seeing increases from 11.8 to 16.7% in those price ranges, so that's really, really good in sales. So we talked about the West. We live obviously in California, very, very high demand. We have some of the highest uh, cost for homes in all throughout the nation right here in the Bay Area. So if you look in the West, we have a 7.2 increase in prices. Again, throughout the region, you're looking at the U.S. is a total of 4.8. Here in the West, where we are is a 7.2. So we can see that the housing pricing prices are continuing to go up across the nation. So let's talk about inventory. So the good thing about inventory is it helps us see when there's less inventory or more inventory, it gives us an idea of the kind of market that we're in. So people are asking a lot of times, Krista, how does new sales affect us? How does it affect the market with existing sales? So if you look here, this shows from 2015 to 2016, what's happening with the new home sales. And you can see the blue is up. We are up consistently this entire year in new home sales. So new home sales is up, but so are existing sales as well. So whenever we see that the housing supply, right, the supply is low, look at May. May was almost 10%. The housing prices was down almost that much in May. That's a significant number. And remember, the sales are up. So what does that mean? That means that's why we're seeing sales go up and prices go up because there's a shortage. That's why we're seeing these prices raise. Now buyer demand, right? So the, so the sellers right now, there's less supply of sellers, less houses selling, but the buyer demand is still very, very strong. Another good indicator that we're gonna continue to have increasing prices throughout 2017. So let's talk about buyers and what's important to them. 77% of them said that interest rates were important to them when buying a home. We are at historical all-time lows for interest rates. I had a buyer last week tell me they locked in at 3.4%. I haven't seen those numbers in about three years. That's a good sign for us. It's a good sign for sellers and also a good sign for buyers. Also, there's 63% of millennials are saying that they are going to buy a home within the next two years. 63% of people right now who are not homeowners who are renting are saying that they are going to be buying a home. And remember, what does that mean? That means we're still showing shortage of supply and we have all these new millennials and new people entering the market. So that means that obviously we're gonna have, again, what? Higher demand, less supply, prices going up. Remember I told you that that client locked in at 3.4, that was awesome. So this right here is 30 year fixed rate mortgages. This is from Freddie Mac, all right? So we can see that since the beginning of this year, interest rates have dropped, gone back up, right? And we're now again low. We are at the lowest point that we've been all year since January at interest rates right now. So we've got low interest rates, right? We've got high buyer demand, and we've got lack of inventory. All those are indicators of prices that are gonna continue to increase.
Again, good news. So what have we learned today so far? We've learned that the buyer's demand is very, very high, right? Seller's demand is low. There's less homes on the market right now and interest rates are at an all time low. So sellers, that means for you most likely that you're gonna be in a position where you're gonna see multiple offers, especially in the local area. If you're on the lower to medium price point, you should expect a lot of activity. The higher that we're going right now, I'm currently seeing this, the higher prices are slowing down a little bit as far as foot traffic, but we expect that to kind of you know increase now that summer is coming to an end and the kids are back in school. So I hope you learned something here today. Do me a favor, feel free to email me or reach out to me anytime if you have any questions about the real estate market or if there's something that you would like me to answer in one of my current videos, I would love to do that for you. Thanks so much and have a great day.